welcome back. I just wanted to do a video today that's long overdue and, and promised and that's just a quick look at the Sojourner uh, leathers. Sojournerusa.com um, uh, These beautiful journals are made by the lovely Rowena and um, there they, she's got some beautiful choices of leather and pockets and uh, I can't recommend them enough and as you will see I have quite a few myself and so I'm just going to take you on a little journey through the ones that I have I don't have all the leathers that she offers but I have a few enough to give you a good idea as to the softness the pliability the thickness of, of these leathers. So let's have a look. So my biggest one from Rowena is the A5 size and this is the Roadrunner leather and in this one I have my Hobonichi Cousin Spring which starts in April in a few days. Um, and I've actually, instead of putting the Hobonichi on the strings, I've tucked it into the back pocket and I asked for a pocket with the credit card slots um, and she also offers a secretarial pocket um, and I wanted this so that I could slot in the, the back of the Hobonichi and not have the strings through the book because um, they tend to damage it a bit if the strings are, are, are on the book. And this is the secretarial pocket here in the front and it's her natural leather, nice and pliable, and it's uh, it makes a very beautiful book. And you can see how pliable and flexible the leather is and how thin it is. It's really on par, I would say, with the original Midori in the thickness of the leather. I'll just hold them up together so you can see they're about exactly the same thickness I would say um, same thickness my my Midori's are, are, are super super pliable and so so is uh, and so is the Sojourner leather so this Roadrunner it's lovely when you when you you can see the uh, nice striations of color especially when you when you roll this and, and this, the color on this is absolutely beautiful. So that's the Road Runner Leather in the A5. Another favorite of mine is the Caribou. And this, this design here is what she calls the designer. And it's a, a rough piece of leather um, on the front as a pocket. And the designer has the red stitching around the front pocket here. And then on this one, I have just the plane in the front and the secretarial pocket here in the back. And this caribou is, again, a nice chocolate brown, dark leather, super, super flexible, because that's, that's how I like them. And in this front pocket, of course, you can put your fountain pens, you can put washi tape, you can put a notebook, you can slot your phone in, all that sort of good stuff. This is um, absolutely beautiful, super, super soft. Uh, this is one of my uh, constant use. I've got a insert here from uh, Keely Reichman, and I'll link that below. Her Thing. And then I have my um, my schedule in here. I keep in here plus plus a notebook. And so I use this one every day, along with my journal, which is also the Caribou. It it is my favorite, and you'll you'll see that. Um, Again, this one's nothing at the front. This one's a completely plain one, nothing at the back, no pockets in this one. It's just uh, plain uh, with an insert there 
and then this is where I journal in my Tomoe River inserts that um, I love, I just love, love, love the sound of this paper and you've put um, watercolor on it and so I just prepped some pages here for future writing um, and uh, this, this brings me joy every single day. So I've got some dashboards in here and some of my artwork and another dashboard. I've got a pocket dashboard here and a personal dashboard here and another one of my inserts. And this is just the notes um, to take notes and, and, and that sort of thing of things I want to look at and things. So this is the caribou in the standard. So these two are with me each and every day. Again, you can see the beautiful flexibility and softness of the leather. And today, ta-da, I just got another caribou, the designer pocket. And this is a B6 Slim. It's my first B6 Slim ever. And I'm not, I guess, <laughs> I guess I finally got one. I've been resisting, thinking I don't, I don't need another size. The last thing I need is another size. But hearing everyone talk about it, I thought, well, I'm going to try it. And I thought I would try it to put my Hobonichi Weeks in. This is an April start Hobonichi Weeks that I have not written in yet, haven't touched. Um, I did get the back pocket on this one with the idea of slipping the Hobonichi Weeks inside here and it, the back cover doesn't quite fit. Um, if I were to cut it down just a little bit, which I could easily do, it would slot in there um, or I could put it on the strings. But um, I, I just, I don't know, I like, I like, uh, I like my Midori schedule so much and it's that much bigger and I've got quite big writing um, so I'm thinking perhaps I'm just gonna stick with that I, I I just I don't know this seems so small to write in um, and I sort of it would be for my handbag and I sort of like my passport with the Midori paper that tears out for my shopping list, etc. So I, you know, yet again I've bought a week's and I don't think I'm going to use it. But anyway, so that's a little mini me. Um, and uh, if I'm not using it with the week's, I'll probably uh, just use it with some inserts and uh, use it as some kind of some kind of notebook. So other ones in her designer range are this one and I forget um, I'll have to list below the the brown leather and it's uh, escaping me now what what it, it's called I'm not sure if she does this design anymore but this she used to do a wraparound uh, pocket and this was in the natural leather which originally looks like this the natural this one has patinaed very nicely and this is another one of her notebooks. Um, one of the things I love about her notebooks is they are the true Midori size. And what that means to me, because I like a very slim, elegant notebook. And many of the makers cut their notebooks uh, quite a bit wider than the Midori. Uh, so they can put pen loops in or because you don't get overhang. Um, and I understand totally that people who like to stuff their notebooks, I think that's a very important choice. But I like to have very slim, elegant notebooks. So I, I'm just, I love it that it is the true Midori size. Um, so that's a big plus for me. And this is her dough leather with a natural pocket in the designer. And this one has the 
secretarial pocket here and this is a really 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 soft floppy um, leather and it's going to patina really really nicely I don't think she carries the dough anymore I think she's run out but um, I'm sure that she will um, you know soon supply something very similar to the dough this reminds me of the creme from uh, Chic Sparrow except it's it's even softer than the creme um, but it has a little bit of um, thickness to it um, not much not much because I, I like the thin leathers and then this is the first one I purchased from Ruina a very long time ago and this was the natural leather with um, I can't remember I think this was um, the Ibex, an Ibex pocket uh, in the designer, um, and it's a very light and very thin um, cover, and it's patinaed really, really nicely, um, and uh, it's, it, it's a beautiful, a beautiful cover. And then going on to her pockets, um, again, here we are back to the caribou, which uh, which I love, and this this little uh, pocket size has the secretarial pocket here, and I'm going to do a separate um, video on this because I've got some exciting things coming to the shop uh, to do with this little book. Um, this is what I call my me book and it's all about me um, which sounds a bit self-indulgent but if we don't look after ourselves then we don't really have anything to give to anyone else so this is all about um, carrying a little book all about um, our hopes dreams what i realized in carrying uh, my other books is i had planning and I had my journal, um, but I didn't have something that was dedicated for inspiration and goals and dreams. And I wanted that with me all the time. So I'm going to do a much more detailed um, YouTube on this uh, just before I release um, some very special products um, in my shop, um, which I think you're going to love and uh, so yeah so that that's to come so again this is the caribou super flexible and yummy beautiful absolutely beautiful leather so that's a caribou pocket with a secretarial pocket uh, the pen loop is 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 on a on a folder and uh, not in, not in not part of the journal and then the other type she does is something she calls her I think she has it in seed now uh, sand and the olive and this cover is like a suede it has a suede like feeling it's super soft very light uh, here it is with a secretarial pocket on the left and all her all her covers have the four internal strings and this one is the seed and it's it's a sand color in the standard and then I've got a little seed in the pocket and again this has the secretarial um, secretarial um, pocket and then I've just got some um, field notes in here and a little file folder um, so that's just super soft very light and as you can see this is very very thin this is actually thinner than the standard Midori um, so it's just super little um, journal to pop in your handbag it's doesn't take up much room it's very light and uh, it's really really nice 
and then this is the trifold of the same kind of leather, the suede-like leather. This is in the olive. Again, the secretarial pocket and super soft, super pliable. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. And you can either pop this like this if you want to or you can have it over here. And the advantage of having a trifold is that if you put a pen in there, it's, it's sort of protected and your inserts, you know, if you've got tabs on the side or you've got inserts there um, and it's in your handbag, the trifold protects everything so that it doesn't um, get, get damaged in any way. And then her other leather here, this is a passport size and this is the same type of leather as the Roadrunner and the Caribou, but this one is called, I can't remember, I can't remember what it's called, I'm going to have to look it up and list it uh, below because I'm having one of those moments, I think I need to eat some food, my brain isn't, uh, isn't working properly. But um, anyway, this is the, the other leather and it's a lighter brown to the caribou. Let me put them together for you here. Um, and it's also just a beautiful, soft, nice, flexible leather in the passport size. And uh, see how, how beautiful that is in the comparison of the two in the passport size. So I hope that was helpful. That's just a real quick look at the Sojourner Lowers. They're absolutely beautiful. Rowena is super talented and I love, 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 love my Sojourners. And um, yeah, so I hope, I hope uh, to see you soon. Thanks so much for stopping by and uh, checking in with me and I will see you soon. Ciao, ciao.